let's go ladies and gentlemen welcome to dry arabia spawning as the red player we have playing as the french he is buck mogun and spawning as the blue player we have the one and only playing as the ruse give you a lot a lot of anxiety so well rematch. these two faces are not <laughs> uh not afraid of each other at all they have met many many times multiple tournaments on the ladder we've now we'll see them take on each other here in the dcs round number one gives you anxiety go and play in the Rus and buck Magoon as the french last time i saw these two players it was the other way around and it's gonna be interesting we are here on dry arabia there's spawns that gold for buck Magoon is so far up front but luckily he is the French player. So he'll be the one looking to do a little bit of aggression. So he'll be looking to find and exploit any weakness he finds and gives you anxiety's base. And luckily for gives you anxiety, his woodline's not too far from his TC and his gold is behind him. So it makes it a little bit more difficult for Back Magoon to do that early harass. But it should be relatively comfortable for at least gives you anxiety to uh, survive some of this French pressure that we're expected to see. Ba ba white sheep, have you any food? <laughs> Only a couple sheep, what are you talking about? Yes sir, yes sir, 250 full. Oh, and don't forget, <laughs> they also give 5 gold each. Ah, oh look, another sheep. Oh, whoa, look, 2 sheep. Okay, give you anxiety has some sheep, sheep attraction magnet, man. So the good thing about the amount of sheep that he's been able to collect, this can allow him to stray away a little bit from professional scouts if he doesn't want to go that way, because he's got close to two and a half to three thousand food right there in the amount of sheep. This could either delay his professional scouts to later on, or at least gives him a little bit of an option to kind of still lay his professional scouts instead mm. of just completely avoiding it, because you've got enough food to sustain yourself for a while, especially against the French player. Good deny right there. I think give you anxiety might. Yeah, he should engage this scout actually because the scout is also getting beaten by a bitey right there. So <laughs> actually need to force him to run. See, so that's and good and bad go thing for gives you anxiety. <laughs> <laughs> good thing is gives you anxiety gets all the deer to himself. Bad thing he loses that uh thirty gold bounty that's making its way back to his opponent's base. So what's more worth? I think oh, the deal is more worth. 25 um, here, I that mean... is two and a half. Oh, 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 never mind, never mind. So here we have a bitey infantry war. Who's gonna get the last? Oh, okay. So Bakmogun has actually very, very good micro. Manages to cancel or deny the gold. And mm -hmm. wow, he still managed to hit tier two. Yeah, so that was one of those scenarios where gives you anxiety, looked away momentarily to do something back at his base, preparing for his age up, and then as soon as he looked back to his scout, he lost that wolf. So it's going to be a little bit of a unfortunate there for him because he would have loved that additional 25 extra gold because that would have been put him closer to even an upgrade or the professional scouts if he really wanted it. Uh, do we actually see that in production? Is he going that professional scouts route for gives you anxiety? Yes, he, he is. is. But the problem is, what is he going to do against the knights? Is he just going to build fortresses or is he going to get a barracks? Well, it is actually a very delayed age up coming from back. Yeah, exactly. I feel like about maybe 20 seconds, a little bit later for the cavalry. And this would have been due to the amount of scouts he potentially is creating to try and pressure around the map. So in the end, it's going to help give you anxiety out a little bit longer, uh, easier. If he wants to go for that professional scouts, he might be able to get a single return trip of deer before gives you anxiety uh sorry back McGoon even gets those scouts out or professional scouts ready to collect all that so anxiety's answer is to get a wooden fortress not the barracks what do you yes, think that's i think that's perfectly fine especially with wooden fortress it's going to pay off 
when you have five or more villagers. If you have five villagers, you throw down a wooden fortress, plus 20% wood return rate, that's a free villager. So you are just spending a little bit of wood to get an extra villager. That'll pay itself back off in about one and a half to two minutes. And if you mm. have 10 villagers, even better. That's two free villagers right there. So it's a huge income to the wood, which the roost player usually uses to sacrifice for gold to push up to your age up anyway. And I like this. Plenty of wood. Got to pop out of barracks, get some spearmen up and running. And with professional scouts now coming back in for the food, I think Gives you anxiety is in a position that he's not afraid at all of that French and he doesn't need to be worried one that is bit. Very true. And the positioning of his buildings are actually very, very good. I think the only way the French can come in is from the bottom side. That is the only way the French can come in. Coming in from the top you, is kind of suicide. And even if you did try to come in through the bottom, you the time that gives you anxiety is going to have to react to that will just be able to move mm. all these villages up north anyway or somewhere yes. else. So you're not mm. going to get too much out of it. So I'd be interested to see if Bakmagun is going to go for a lot of cavalry at the moment. I'm kind of interested. Does he have any out? No, he's getting more scouts. So he might even be going for a professional scout himself. Yeah, he, does have he that already mirror. has professional scouts. He got a mule very, very early in the game. And he not just got for professional scout, he's also going for survival techniques. So we might be seeing a little bit of a boom come out from uh, Bakmagun though. He might not be trying to fight necessarily for that early aggression. And that's going to pop, gives you anxiety. He's going to pop out this spearman waiting for it. The scout's going to come around and be like, wait a second, where is all these players and he sees the amount of villages he's like oh okay well if you're going to go for early aggression you're going for potentially a second tc how will give you anxiety react to this will he go to age three fast castle or will he pick up a second tc himself i'm suspecting nope, he probably will just go and cause some havoc how about that cause how some havoc sounds nicer right <laughs> if that if he gets there before that second TC goes down, it's going to be great. If that second TC goes down, this uh, these four units are going to be absolutely worthless. I think he will be able to deny the second TC. Ooh, it looks like it's already come down there. It's going to be close. Oh, let's see, let's see. Any bets? I oh. think he's going to be able to at least do something to the uh, front lines because the front lines are exposed, especially that gold. We mentioned this at the start, that gold is so far away from the TC that can be a little bit of pressure, especially from that roost player. The three spearmen is going to be enough to deal with that knight, allowing the archer to freely work towards those villages. And it looks like Bakmagun should survive with most of his units. He does, but it does slow down that gold income. It slows down any more knights to be able to be produced from Bakmagun. But luckily for Bakmagun, he is going for an economy route. So the gold's not going to be too scary to lose, but he would like to at least get some units onto there. Because if he ever wants to transition to Castle Age, well, he needs some gold. Actually, it's quite bad for anxiety right now, if you realize. Anxiety really needs to do some damage. Like, some damage. Without, mm. this is the first villager that's coming out of out of Bakmagun's. And he's already six villagers ahead of anxiety. So maybe he missed out quite a lot of villagers. Mm-hmm. And he also lost the scout. So, I mean, that ended up being a good trade for Back Magoon. I think gives you anxiety. He's kind of in the scenario at the moment that he feels that he needs to continue putting pressure on. If he doesn't continue putting pressure on, he loses. In one sense, he's right. In the second sense, it's a little short-sighted because if he doesn't think about what he wants to do instead of what his opponent's doing, he's just going to fall further further behind and fall into the trap of Back Magoon once, where he knew what his opponent was doing and then decided to go his own route to create a new style. And this economy boom is going to be super strong so let's say gives you anxiety gets up to castle age get some of these relics well he's going to be behind on villages and that village kind of gathering rate you, extra you get from those relics isn't really going to pay to, off too much because eventually back is going to continue getting further further ahead of the economy those villages can be transitioned to elsewhere and kind of rearrange your economy when needed and gives you anxiety will fall further and further behind so that's kind of where he is at the moment he needs to he wants to keep trying to put pressure on because he feels like if Whoa. he doesn't, he's going to fall behind. Okay, okay, hold that thought. Anxiety has siege engineering. There is a third TC coming out of Bakmogun. Does he have enough to defend it? That's the main question. 
He has only two knights, five archers. That's against five spearmen and about nine archers and more streaming across the map. So that's an interesting TC. I mean, it's two, there's two thoughts to it. The first process is, he, I don't think he suspected this much aggression coming out from Gives You and Zaita. I think he may have thought he may have had another two to three <laughs> minutes before this pressure was kind of coming what on. What is going because on? Now that the pressure has arrived, he's like, I need something here to defend my gold mine because I'm not getting anything. So what am I going to do? I'm going to throw a third TC down. And this is kind of a... Uh, <laughs> I panic TC because he really wants this down so then he can get that gold mine. He should really just give up, maybe go to that back gold mine in the back of the uh, map if he's scattered it and just go okay i might drop a tc here i might just get gold here because if he really needs to get gold at the moment he's looking at the front of his base i i, I don't know man this this isn't like starcraft 2 right you you cancel a building you only get back a little bit right you don't get back like everything it's just, yeah, it's one of those things that Back Magoon's currently in a panic and he has to try and work himself out of it. I think Gives You Anxiety has really done that to his opponent. Real, his opponent's afraid of what he's up against. He doesn't have the unit production. He's got the villagers, but at the moment, he's not safe. I mean, look at that wood line. If we saw Gives You Anxiety rotate to that wood line, that wood line's gone on the left side of the field. That's a lot of idle. And now a ram's coming on in. And remember, t second TC and more cannot change the targets thereafter so this second tc is going to be as good as dead because that the primary tc is not going to be able to help out with this push not just not being able to help out look at this give you anxiety has 47 military units but mogun has 20. how is this going to how is he going to counter this force in a short answer it's not <laughs> <laughs> you can see this at the moment. They're standing right under that TC thanks to that ram, and they're just tearing through the French cavalry at the moment, and now getting rid of any of those extra archers. Gives you anxiety to stand here for the next 10 minutes and not feel threatened because he has such a strong military force now knocking on Backbagoon's door. And this was it was a good choice originally by Backbagoon, but unfortunately, I think the placement and maybe the follow up is kind of letting him down a little bit because he did not suspect what Gives you anxiety was going to do. He did not suspect this amount of military and he's been punished heavily for it now especially with the third tc that was a that was fairly uh greedy <laughs> and uh it was a panic tc to try and protect his economy and unfortunately it's fallen down so back McGun's not sitting in a nice location at the moment i don't know man cancelling two tcs losing his second tc Still has a second TC. I mean, uh, uh, sorry. Third TC. Back up as a second. And guess what? Oh, so I think I, I, I lost the stream on my side. Yeah, oh, no. I crashed. <laughs> that's why. <laughs> oh, that's unfortunate. Right. We will be jumping to that game when it is available again. When my PC decided to decides to not die as often. We need to uh, raise you some funds. <laughs> so Get guys, you, uh, do, don't forget to sub. <laughs> Get you a uh, 2021 computer or better. Because <laughs> I think, how old is your computer? It's like eight years, 10 years old. Um, This was made in December 2011. Whew, so that's 10 years old. Be. It's done well to make it this old. That is very true. Let's jump back to that. I want to see how that turned out. I'm actually very interested to see how that turned out. So yeah, while we wait to cut that come on board, I think, yeah, Bak Magun's going to be in the tough the base. So this economy is still holding strong for Bak Magun, and I think Gives You Anxiety thinks he's ahead. And I mean, he is in terms of what kills he got from the military and the buildings, but if he uh, doesn't continue to do something, he might not be as ahead as he thinks he is. Oh, he just needs one more ball. Oh, he already killed it. Oh, so that's it. He can never get 500, sadly. But GOA is H3, man. Mm, and there's 
this is kind of the follow-up you need to do. Uh, you've found the damage, you've found the economy hit, now let's follow it up by getting into the next age, getting up the tech, and then continue to mass over your opponent in terms of army and technology. It gives you such a huge advantage. Also, you want to start securing those relics around the map, which have all those three relics all the way down the bottom right-hand side of that map. That is unbelievable spawn for gives you anxiety. He can pick all three Ooh. of those up in maybe a minute and a half. And he has 25 gold sitting right here. I believe there is another 25 gold sitting right here. Yes, there is. 50 gold. Can he actually reach 500? We have a huge engagement in the middle though, as the sun uh, coming in. Uh, I wouldn't call it huge. <laughs> <laughs> I would, because if that ram goes on down, that's uh, one of the large forces from Gibson and Zion to be able to put pressure onto his opponent. As now back with Gun feeling he's so far behind, he's going to continue to push down the middle. He's going to find a few kills and... Well, oh, but that's a very that's big army. army. <laughs> yes. Let's, let's see. 60 versus 41. Still, tw okay, okay. Better than just now. Just now was like three times bigger. Now it's at least half times bigger. So, no, that's at least improvement for Park Mokun. Yeah. What can the French do actually? Because he really needs the H3. Only so at H3 can he get men at arms. He can't get royal yeah. knights because they're spearmen. The big, Just the big issue at the moment is Back Magoon has to decide where he wants to go at the moment. He knows he's got a relatively decent economy. So I feel like he should be playing on the defensive. Maybe try and walk down some of these relics. Because usually a warrior monk will come on out. It won't be supported by military. If you can slow the warrior monk production getting those relics. Then at least you slow down your opponent a little bit without overextending your primary force you need to try and get your economy up and running you need to be out that economy support your military building and then eventually you'll have an equal army of your opponent because we know at least there's no true tc from his opponent we know that gives your zaiti is going that clear cookie cutter route for a bruce player and we're going to see a ton of horse archers i th i would feel starting to get built where's this guy going oh oh is he going to try a... I think he's going to try it. Go to the back, get some villagers for free. <laughs> and he's got a spot that there's another TC there. And just look at the amount of spearmen. They've now been upgraded as well. Thanks to the Castle Age, those spearmen will tear through anything. They even have a high hit point pool, so it won't be too much of a worry to the opponents. And here we come on in. The archers are going straight through behind that spearman line. And all oh, those horsemen are starting to go down from the strength. And because they've got such high hit points, unless there's perfect micro coming from back McGuin's archers, he's not doing too much. He's focusing on those spearmen. Those spearmen, they will take arrows for days at this level. They're not going to be too worried as the archers for gives you anxiety is ripping through his opponent. And this going to continue walking forward, shooting, firing, cleaning up back with them. I think back with them is going to be potentially in his coffin with the now starting to come on down. Oh, that's so unfortunate. But actually, I keep thinking, what can the French do? Yeah, at this stage, I feel like there's not too much he can do. He needed to play super defensive, maybe get some walls up just to give him some time and delay his opponent. We saw, I think there's a, can't remember who it is at the moment, maybe Salami, uh, one of the very strong mm. players in the Age of Vampires force scene. Uh, he, there's cool what onion walls. Throw as many walls down as possible, delay your opponent as much as possible to get the victory condition you want, which in one of the matches that really came prominent was a wonder condition, which I know you absolutely love. And oh, uh, yeah, I, love I feel like that could have given enough time for Back Bakun to delay these attacks. But what's surprising is Gives You Anxiety is still giving plenty of time for Back Magoon to stay in this match. If there's mm. still some stone coming out from Back Magoon, he could potentially get stone walls up, delay this fight a little bit longer, and try and keep himself in this game. Because at the moment, unless he goes for the ultra late game, maybe Imperial game, he's not going to be able to win. He has to survive until that late. Is it just me or I cannot see the relics? Um, yeah, yeah, I can't see the relics. Correct. They might all be on warrior monks. <laughs> I no, wouldn't be surprised no, no. if you died. Oh, okay. But he does have 20 villagers on that. True. 
So, but yeah, let's try to see if we can missing. find it. Because we did see one of the warrior monks before. If you want to have a little look at that secret site that's being captured, see if that's a warrior monk with a relic. There we go. There's one. And maybe on the far right hand side, we might see a second uh, warrior monk with a. Uh... Oh, no, he's all what the top. is going so, on? Yeah, he's going for the pincer move of warrior monks. It's either going to work absolutely beautifully or it's going to spectacular. Uh, fail spectacularly. Either way, I think it's going to be a bit of entertainment coming from Kim Shun's eye too. Definitely. I think he's, he's just doing it for fun. He's not he's not afraid of the, the outcome of this game. Look at this. That makes four warrior monks at four different locations? <laughs> yeah, they're getting there. They're going to collapse very shortly and it is going to be an explosion of Wulu and it's going to be beautiful. I also beautiful love those uh, random... Horrendous? Not nah, beautiful. <laughs> I also love how there's just a group of villagers for Kim Jun's IT on the right hand side of the map that just decided they're gonna um, farm some wood and get an outpost up there. Wonder if you will see the warrior monks. Oh, he does see the warrior monk. <laughs> Here they come. They're gonna be funneling into the base. Will we see any reaction though? He might be paying attention to elsewhere on the map. And oh my god, there's a lot of villagers going up top. He's gonna start the woo of one. Another one's gonna come into the base. And there's just woo everywhere at the moment. He's trying to capture everything. He almost gets all those gold miners. He's gonna miss them all. And now his wood line's gonna be captured. And then a fight going on at the front of the base. All those villagers are gonna go down thanks to the woo as the engagement at the front. All the spearmen what and everyone is going else is dead. On? This is beautiful! The amount of units gives you anxiety captured from every part of the map is just unbelievable. And then the <laughs> GG comes on out. What is going on?